All right, it's time to introduce you to something we call the News Fuse. It's a take on the news you won't see or hear anywhere else. Fox 35's David Martin called up some of his friends over at Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1 to get their hilarious take on trending topics. Welcome to the News Fuse. I'm your host, David Martin. We've got a good set for you tonight. The iPhone 15 comes out Friday. James, do we care? I'm going to say no, we don't care. And I'm going to tell you why, my friend. Uh, I don't have an iPhone. Huh? <laughs> I got an Android. Yeah, I'm going to get made fun of because I don't have one. I mean, I'm going to have to buy one for kids because that's what they want. They want iPhones. I'm going to have to buy it. But no, I don't care about it. I got, an, I got an Android I've had for eight years, and it's still working. I don't want your iPhone. I don't even like apples, okay? So, yo, no, I don't care. <laughs> He's using it right now. That's why his signal looks poor. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of stuff I get because we got green bubbles. We we're, we're treated differently as people. What's up with the bubble? The bubble really makes people mad. It That's does. Like the biggest thing. You have a green bubble. What? You don't like the color green? It's money. It's I'm with James. I'm an Android person, too. I'm not excited about the iPhone. But the thing about the iPhone, every year it comes out, it's the same thing. Yep. We got a better camera. It's a better next. It's gonna be a telescope on the next iPhone <laughs> before you know. It's gonna be a Hubble telescope <laughs> camera. But have you seen the new commercial though? It's no. so the commercial is a, a rock flying through space, mm -hmm. going through Saturn and all these planets, and then it lands on Earth, and it's like iPhone, titanium. Who the hell likes titanium? <laughs> <laughs> we, we was, who out there looking for the titanium phone, bro? Come on, man. iPhone loses a dweeb. <laughs> James's phone is so old, he don't have emojis. He has hieroglyphics. Like, <laughs> all right, Ken Miller, he he got he got the Google 16 phone. You know, it's got the crank on it, like the old army radio when he wants to make a long distance call <laughs> nobody knows what android phone is out right now what do you got the, the android glacknarn 37 you're like uh, yeah uh, whoa, this whoa, one's whoa. battery runs on duracell 38 sir get it straight yeah uh, you're like look at my android camera your android camera when you take the picture you gotta shake the phone afterwards so it comes out nice <laughs> android's introducing new flash bulbs as soon as you drop that iphone it's broke I just oh, know that. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it's like a baby, Ken. It's a magical, beautiful thing. Don't shake it or drop it. <laughs> yeah. Much. Hey, hey the, the iPhone screen made out of uh, Aaron Rodgers' Achilles. <laughs> Speaking of technology, Universal's new Epic Universe theme park in Orlando will use facial recognition. Oh Your God. kisser will get you a fast pass for the rise. Your mug will even serve as a credit card. I love to go to that theme park already. But I'm going to go there, use my face, and they're going to be like, we didn't even know Ruben Stutter was coming here today. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gotten in for free. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey, which one of George Foreman's kids is this? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want my face out there because I look like too many other brothers out there. So I'm, that, that, I'm gonna get that, that is true. That me and 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 with that being said, that is a good thing because I can just use your past, James. You think they're ever gonna like look at it and be like, oh man, we got too many ugly people today? <laughs> Go ahead and send a message out to some of the pretty folks. <laughs> Go ahead and send messages out to some of the iPhone users. Let oh, them know we're giving funny. them free tickets. Today. We gotta sparkle some beauty into this park. <laughs> gotta ask ourselves, who can afford theme park tickets and new iPhones? anyways, right? Because in this economy, it's a rough one. Inflation is shrinking the middle class. Here's the minimum annual income needed by a family of four today to be middle class in Florida. $67,835. Ken, Whoa. is that math mathing? No, nah, it ain't math because I just started a new job and I make exactly, it's so funny, <laughs> I make exactly $67,835. I have a family of four and I want to let y'all know I am borrowing everything. I'm borrowing people Netflix. I'm borrowing my neighbor's Wi-Fi. That's why my Wi-Fi is so slow. I got yeah. my friend YouTube TV. I got James Disney Plus. That's true. Miguel's <laughs> iPhone camera to take pictures of my kids because my camera, I can't even afford it. Nah, man, nah. 67000 is low is low income. It is, that is not middle class. Well, that well, is here's not the, middle class. Here's the funny part. Yeah, Quinn, I just learned today. I was today years old when I learned. I'm 
not even middle class. Bro, 67000 that's a come up. When do we start? <laughs> I want to tell you this. When you both texted me and I saw the green bubbles, I knew you weren't middle class. <laughs> yeah, $67,000. In Central Florida, most families spend that a year on toll roads and uh, theme park passes already. You need to be making at least 200000 a year in Central Florida. And even if I did, I'd still be trying to pull that quarter out of the shopping cart at Aldi every time I go there. Amen. I, need Amen. I, can get. I like it. Art has the quarter with the hole drilled in it with the string, you know? <laughs> Yoinks. <laughs> Yeet. Sixty-seven thousand dollars in South Florida is brunch. <laughs> Funny brother.